Hi kids, my name is Miss Jen. I'm an art teacher at Three Crosses Academy of Arts. We're going to be making projects you can do with your whole family. Today, we're going to be making bubble fish art. Let's get started. So here's the supplies you will need. There's a list right here if you want to take a screenshot. So we have um, a pencil, a Sharpie, poster board, and if you don't have poster board, you get any box from the frozen food section will work great. You just open it up and it makes nice art paper. A straw, a safety pin, empty containers. You need one for each color you're going to do. Some scissors, a cup of water, some clear liquid soap. It's very important that it needs to be clear. Color paint. You can use liquid watercolor if you have it. This stuff works really great. Um, you can use food coloring. This is really good for younger kids, preschool, kindergarten. Uh, or tempera paint works great too. And then you also need um, some newspaper or a plastic tablecloth, because this is gonna be a very, very messy project. So we wanna protect our tables. So now we're gonna draw our fish. So first we're gonna draw a nice big circle. I'm gonna make sure to draw really big because we're gonna cut these out and it's easier to cut out bigger shapes than smaller shapes. And then on one side, you're gonna make a, another small circle for the eyeball. Then a smaller circle inside that. And then a squiggly line for the mouth. And then on the top of the circle, we're going to make another squiggly line for his fin. And then for the tail, we're going to draw a diagonal line up and stop. Draw another diagonal line down and stop. And then you're going to draw a squiggly line to connect your two diagonal lines together. That makes a tail. And then we're going to draw another squiggly line in the middle of our fish for his other fin. When you are done with that, you can ink it in with a Sharpie. Just ink in all of your lines, every line you've drawn with a Sharpie. So now we have our lines inked in and we are going to cut our fish out with some scissors. So go ahead and cut around all of the outside lines with your scissors. Okay, now that we have our fish cut out, it's time to start making our paint. So first thing you're gonna need is your pans or empty containers. We're gonna put some water in our empty containers. And our clear liquid soap. Put a couple squirts in our Pans. And then we need our paint. You need to put one color in one pan and another color in another pan. And separate them out. You want to put a lot of paint in there. Also going to use some food coloring. So 
I put like eight drops in of the food coloring. Okay, then you're gonna take your straw and you're gonna mix up your paint. Okay, so for this next part, you're going to need your straw and your safety pin. So for the younger kids, you might want your parent to help you with this. So you take your safety pin, you find the middle of your straw, and you stick your safety pin into your straw. We're making holes in our straw. The reason for this is, um, if we forget to blow and we instead drink, we're not drinking the liquid. It will fly out of the holes in our um, straw. Okay, so now this is the super fun part. We're going to blow bubbles. Now, you wanna make a big, big mound of bubbles. The bigger the mound, the better, okay? So you stick your straw in your pan and you start blowing bubbles. You get a good amount of bubbles going. You're gonna take your fish and stick them on your bubbles. And you can see that nice scaly pattern in your bubbles. You can do this with multiple colors if you want. The more times you do it, the darker the bubbles will get. on there you go now it's very important to not pop your bubbles I know it's tempting but um, if you leave your bubbles alone and just let them dry on their own then you'll get this really cool scaly texture So fish come in all different shapes and sizes. As you can see here, these are some that we did in art class. They're heart fish, long fish, polka dot fish, striped fish. How many fish can you think of? So that's it for our art project. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next time where we make sea turtles out of cereal boxes, lemons, and more.